Good morning, good morning, or good evening whenever this video comes out. I don't know. Good day, I guess. Hello everyone, it's AJ here again, and yes, do another reaction video. I said I wasn't going to make these things too common, and that's still the plan. However, my good friend KC, who you may have remembered as uh, my first ever Kofi supporter, along with uh, Chaos, you'll get your reward soon enough, trust me buddy, don't worry. But however, she's done her first ever dramatic reading, and surprisingly, it's not something pony related. It's actually related to uh, another franchise she's in, and... I'm trying to get into just lifetime and no home Wi-Fi, all kinds of fun. But anyway, she's doing a fa she did a fan fiction reading of Dragon Age. I would have done this uh, reading sooner, but uh, well, life kind of got in the way and uh, this and that. But you know what? I'm here now. I got some time. I got it downloaded. I'm ready to go. It's about uh, 21 minutes long, and it's called Sleep With Me. A romance slice of life story. I, there's no real more information. She just kind of didn't put a description of the story in the story and um oh sorry catching breath for those of you wondering dragon age is kind of a lord of the ring D, D type style adventure game probably more related to assassin's creed that has very heavy themes of war sacrifice post-traumatic stress disorder all that good stuff that makes for a good emotional series I haven't really got into it that much, and uh, oh, they kind of also have zombies called, um, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, I'll just uh, put what they're named up here when I remember them and look it up later, but they kind of have White Walker-like zombies, it's a, from what little I've seen and experienced so far, especially the Dragon Age fandom, it looks like a good series, and I definitely recommend you check it out if you get a chance, but however, just for a start, uh, let's check out her video first, and if you have the time, because I, currently as I'm recording this, I see she has no comment in her comment section so do me a favor after you're done with this video give whatever comment you were going to give to me and go over to give it to Casey will ya and also be sure to sub follow her and all that kind of neat stuff but anyway I've been talking all long enough let's get on with the video here we go and start ah. sleep with me oh, by okay, blue Casey. stars crawl I love you but you really gotta come with of art on by serious draws all right, is that the worst of it, or I mean, you, I'm not sure how you record. Like using a laptop mic, I know you got a microphone, but it kind of sounds like you're using a computer mic, or it could just be my computer. I don't know. Maybe I'll prove as I get along. I'll just make sure to fix it up. And uh, okay, it's not just straightforward reading. It's there's actually comic strips and panels and whatnot. Alrighty then. Okay, but uh, okay. Oh, someone's doing something. Nevada. Okay, it's a comic <laughs> reading, not a fan fiction reading. No. Okay, this just went to all kinds of levels of up there already. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, oh, okay, okay, this went to places fast. Oh, oh. Yeah, and it was just a dream. Okay. Still was one freaky dream, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Makes and yeah, this breath. is the post-traumatic stress I was talking about. Sleepless and nights were not unfamiliar to Colin. Since the events of yeah, Kila Cold, yeah. he struggled yeah, to sleep through the night. It. His mind sure always plagued the by the images and sounds later, of when he was held captive really by Aldred and his mages. The world before me is shadow. Although I do like the Yet French he got for Nathan. He would hear his friends screaming, think about, dying, okay, okay, yeah. being this tortured in the harrowing chamber, and seeing stress. their faces as they stood before him. I... He heard the voices of the demons who tried to break him as he was kept in the magic prison. Okay. Yeah, it gets a little more bearable once you get along, get used to it. Kind of. He remembered their yeah, words, seductive more work. and I'm slow, sure the problem is, like, whispered, too loud, too hissed quiet. Um, into his ear, loud, like, promises of things he could have if he just give in. The longer he resisted them, the more aggressive their attempts on. became. When the pain horrible, started, loud. memories of claws digging into his flesh drawing blood from deep wounds. Eesh, this is graphic. That was when he would wake with a start, gasping, sweating, and trembling all over. His mind was never quiet. 
During the daylight hours, he could distract himself with work. But at night, when the lure of sleep was too strong for him to resist, he was defenseless and was forced to surrender himself to the terrors of his memory. Colin could not recall the last time he managed a full night's sleep. He did not rely on sleeping drafts, though they were tempting. He did not wish for his mind to be slow, for any reason. The withdrawal of Miriam already caused him daily pain, a dull throb he felt as constant as his heartbeat. He did not wish to add being sluggish and dense to that. He could get by on very little sleep. He had adapted it over the years. He had been forced to. When he woke from his nightmares and could not tempt himself to sleep once more, he worked. At Haven, he filled his time going over requisition orders, recruiting numbers, and reports from the scouts further afield. In Skyhold, if his usual methods of finding constellations through the broken roof of his tower did not help him, he retreated to the war room. Thinking like tactics and strategy English, helped calm friend, his mind, just remember, helped him feel like less story, panicked, and White forced Walker him like to zombies, concentrate on something other than what woke him. As he walked war. from his tower across the bridge towards the main keep, he relished the quiet. Skyhold was a busy place. No busier than Haven had been, but somehow it seemed louder to him. The constant streams of nobles, of pilgrims, and refugees made it feel as if the fortress never settled. There was always something. That's why he preferred Skyhold during the night. Everyone was abetted except for the guards on rotation. Skyhold got its chance to breathe, and so did Colin. The keep was empty of all of its gossiping nobles and the chantry clerics left the gardens. It was peaceful. Colin's steps echoed off the flagstones as he walked through the rotada. While Solace was normally found there, at night, he disappeared off to sleep like yeah, any normal person, more, though if the place he chose to sleep that night I mean, was fine, normal. Cullen like, could not say. He closed the door from the bridge as softly as yeah. possible, wincing when it squeaked at the more, latch, uh, clicking into in place. While he yeah, knew most people would be sleeping in their rooms and yeah. guest quarters, oh, he was story. never certain if Liliana would Ooh, be asleep or not. As he crossed the space, sure. he heard the messenger crows above him, oh, soft calling and ruffle of feathers uh, as they adjusted to settle down all. after their mild disturbance. He closed the door to the main sure hall with as by. much care as the previous door. They were heavier and often slammed if left too close on their own. The hall was as silent as the rest of Skyhold. Neat, too, without people and things cluttering it up. Chairs were tucked underneath the tables. Mugs and plates from an evening of socializing were returned to the tavern and kitchen. And the head of it all, the Inquisitor's Ferelden-inspired throne, which its thick, heavy furs neatly laid out across the seat. He was less careful well, with the doors bad, from the right. hall to the war room when they closed. He knew Josephine kept them well oiled and in good condition, not wanting yeah, any uh, visiting nobles or door. associates to be subject to, door, to creaking oh, doors. And when wait, he entered the war room, he was no, startled sure to find he was not alone. He was usually right. used to be there being well, no again, one else awake. It was the dead of night, after oh, yep, all. Why would anyone need to be awake? Okay. Yet he was met well, hey, with the anxious like gaze possible, of the Inquisitor meeting his from across the room, <laughs> wide-eyed, <laughs> bloodshot, and glassy, as if she had been caught doing something wrong. Uh. They stood in silence for a few heartbeats. <laughs> No, the two I'm of them looking than that. at each I'm other, more than that. both in a state of <laughs> undress. Cullen in his bedshirt, the sleeves rolled up to his elbows, 
a loose pair of cotton yeah, breeches, clothes. and his boots. Oh. Nevena, in a white cotton I'm shirt, I'm which mature. came halfway down to her thighs, and a long cloak fastened around her shoulders to keep her from the cold. Good on Swallowing you, good on thickly, you. Colin averted his gaze from the flush of color across Nevena's chest and walked further into the room. He could feel the air almost pulsed it around them ah, both. I'm doing it again. Not an I'm unfamiliar sensation when they were alone together. Yep. But one They're which there. still made his fight. skin prickle them. beneath his clothes this is a PG -rated channel. and his hair I can keep stand it on end. It was as if the room was filled with okay. electricity uh, course, formed Casey between the pair of them. I didn't realize anyone else was Oh, up. this is too easy. I I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to last. I can I'm sorry, Casey, I know this is serious. If but... I'm bothering you. <laughs> oh. 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 Their personal relationship, their intimate Ooh. relationship, I should be taking this was seriously, still but new I'm just, to them both. My mind is too dirty. It was hard to know where they oh, stood all the time, oh. and harder still to get a grasp on their situation considering how often she was away oh. from Skyhold. Cullen tried to make her comfortable oh. when they were alone together so in precious. any situation, and that in turn, helped him feel more at ease and calmer in her presence. She's having her problems with narration, but Casey's definitely got a lot Staring better Staring at the acting, war though. table. I mean, you think it's not that different, but Pretending I know what is. I'm doing. Like, I'll probably just try sleep. to give her a few pointers Inquired later on Inquired Cullen, chance. lifting a brow. He knew the signs well enough. He wore them most days. The bloodshot eyes, the weighted speech, the mm. hollows beneath her eyes. Yes. She was sleeping less and less since Adamant, and it was beginning to take a toll. Is it that obvious? Oh, okay, I can relate. A little. Have you tried well, anything? Not with uh, anything. The sleeping trouble, powder? But, yeah. Or... I don't like using things like that. I've tried them in the past, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I don't like how they affect mm -hmm. me. And they make my mouth feel tingly. Chuckling. Colin carried on around the table until he was on the same side as she was. Well, he approached place. her until they stood beside each other, their arms just touching. I can't well, I've my channel to PG-13 rating later. Doesn't stop Josie from asking one of the attendants to put them on my desk every night. I know Ooh, she's trying to help, but this is a good comic. it's not sleep Reading that's the problem. This is. What is the problem? And it's, the magic. Nevena. It's this. It's painful. It activates when I sleep, so Anchor. I woke up. Uh, Colin's kind of brow magic. raised in alarm. I, like I said, this is the first time he ever heard of the anchor be, activating I itself on its own. A little bit to know Could that you be making mages are like a sleep? separate kind of faction or something Perhaps in the world. Dream it. Being a mage, your connection to the faith may be giving it additional strength. Got. <laughs> You sound like Whee! Solus and like Dagna. Nope, I'm not Sparrow. Oh, I, I'm not gonna uh, go shippy shippy. I, I only meant. Oh. I know. But I am gonna call on Whenever you they how were adorable close, this all is. He was always struck by how warm she was. Being near her was like sitting by a Aww. dying fire. Even in the biting Yay. cold of the mountains, she retained a regular pleasant heat. Cullen found he I liked, liked it. He, he liked the warm she emitted. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna he let her liked this how down. she felt. Like he would withstand any assault. He liked even more the way she hey, felt in his arms when yes. he held her. It's very beautiful and very he liked the they sensation of her small breast cushioned against him. To, to be able to feel the steady rise and fall of, of her rib cage when she took measured breaths. He liked the smell of her hair, lingering and saffron from later. an oil she used to keep it healthy in the cold. He liked the feel of her bare skin as he traced small circles with the tips of his fingers where her cloak fell from her shoulders. Most of themselves. They stood in silence for a long time, the two of them holding the other listening to nothing. Aww. When Nevena shifted, Colin loosened his hold until she was comfortable and then tightened it around her again. He squinted down at the map <laughs> spread across the war table, 
and found a smile teasing at his mouth as a low laugh rumbled in his chest. Do it, do it, do it. Did you know? Oh wait, they have done it before. Late cabin head looks like a. Do you want to go to bed with me? (laughs) Go to. (laughs) Hey, too late, honey. You already gave that that impression, anyways. No, I I didn't mean in bed in that sense. I'm. Lady, there's no way you can't make this awkward anymore. Maybe if if two people who can't sleep try sleeping together. You've already been hinting at it so much, anyways. You might might as well go through with it. It's stupid. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Just forget it. Yes. I, if you would like yes. to, yes. Yes. Cause any harm to try. Hmm. War room. I wonder if that's symbolism. They walked slowly out of the war room. Colin wondered if perhaps it was the because she was nervous or doubting her suggestion, and he walked at her pace. Hang he on. wanted to hope it they was because the keep was empty and they could okay. hold hands like said, and be openly fan, affectionate toward each other in a way they could to not be when there were eyes watching like them the all the time. Something. Her quarters were swamped in darkness before two candles on the table beside her bed. The covers <laughs> were askew, pillows disheaved. Clearly she tried oh. to sleep or had been asleep oh. at least for a little while. <laughs> Nevena unhooked her cloak from around her shoulders and draped it over the banister. Colin's gaze wandered low, admiring the way her shift (laughs) skimmed the backs of her thighs as she walked towards her bed. When he realized he was oogling, he blushed and admonished himself mentally. Huffing and pushing his cheeks out, he ran a hand okay. through his hair. Okay. Navenna climbed time, into bed, lovely, shuffling her legs under porn, the heavy but, covers well, and no puffing good. up her pillows. She waited for Colin to Terrible join her, offering a coy yes. but inviting smile, <laughs> sitting with her hands on her lap. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, I am so Colin noticed that she slept on the side of the bed furthest away from the door. He wondered if this was due to her time in the circle, or even if she realized it was a thing she did. Climbing into the bed, he adjusted the pillows behind him, and copied Navenna as she laid on her side facing him, after blowing out the candles. He laid on his back, clasping his hands over his stomach, staring up at the ceiling. He found he missed the hole in his roof missed being able to see the stars and the draft of the wind. (laughs) Of course, those thoughts were just there to distract him from the winding, clenching unease he felt grasping and swiping at his stomach. Then again. Sensations which made him feel sick. To sleep with someone, Uh, in any sense, was to demonstrate trust. Colin had not slept with anyone in a long time. He had not felt able to trust anyone enough to sleep with them. Now, he was not only sleeping with Navenna, but admittedly to both now deeply he trusted her. He trusted her enough to be with her in his most vulnerable and defenseless state. She was trusting him too, a mage trusting a former Templar, and a former Templar trusting a mage in so intimate a setting when they both had reasons to fear the other. The situation would have made him laugh if he wasn't so wound up and anxious. The tension between them was back, filling the air with crackling, pulsing energy so brittle it would break if either of them spoke. In the gloom he heard Nevena breathe as if she were about to say something, and then reconsidered it leaving them in in uncomfortable silence. Colin tried to relax his body, he closed his eyes and focused on his breathing, inhaling for seven counts holding for four and exhaling in five. His fingers clenched around each other where they rest on his belly linked together. He felt the bones of his knuckles through his skin. Another distraction, 
a distraction he needed. Navenna was everywhere, not just beside him. He could smell her in the covers and the pillows. Her breathing broke through his counting, soft sighs, and occasional rustle where she moved for comfort. There you go, man. Colin drew his lips into a tight line as he resumed his practice of measuring breaths and counting. He tried to grasp at his tennis focus, remembering the methods used as a Templar to censure himself. Somehow, he fell asleep. Through the tight nerves of energy roaming through his body, the fingers of slumber wound around him and lured him to sleep. A brief sleep, though. Okay, he woke now? uncertain okay, how long this his like eyes had been well. closed to the sound of crackling oh, and Navenna whining Nivena. beside him. Navenna! <clears throat> Sorry! There you go, man. You hold on to her for all she's worth. Go back when to you find sleep. someone so special in your life, I'll be you fine. do not let them go. <sighs> there you go. I'm not sleeping while you're like this, Navenna. What can I do? Nothing. It will stop soon. Oh, when? big boom, big boom, hour, big boom. Maybe. Last time it was about three oh hours. Boy. <laughs> Is this every night? Not every night, no. Tonight is... Tonight is just a bad night. I'm sorry. Oh no, don't be, don't be, don't be. I oh, guess he's not gonna leave this you, babe. wasn't such oh, you a better great not leave idea. Him or I'll personally come over there and punch you. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. If you want, you can. Nevena, don't apologize. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I can find it. I can find it. I'm almost there. Oh, okay. Tragic, happy, hug, hold. Yes, they're just holding each other. Yes. <laughs> and they made it together. Oh, this is actually quite beautiful. Oh, I'm still going to make so much fun of KC, but this is just so beautiful now. It's it just it's wonderful. It's great. I feel so bad that I don't actually know most of the lore to make this make more sense than it should. Oh. <laughs> oh, and oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Out. Oh, that's gonna. Yes, sir. Here. I mean, oh, oh my. That doesn't matter. Oh well. Make Who it. needs sexy elf when you got your beautiful <sighs> couple together? And all right, that was just beautiful. No, that was beautiful. That was just beautiful. And mm. desire demon. Oh, that was also Casey. Oh wait, was she not the uh, the, the um? Uh, Tama, I think, or something. I don't know. I'll check it out once the video ends so I can make sure I keep track of it. And, alright. Three, two, one, and okay. That was Dragon Age. Untold Stories Sleep With Me. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was just a, and it was just me struggling not to make any dirty jokes. I mean, oh, 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 oh Casey's gonna kill me. I know it, but I honestly regret nothing. <laughs> and like I said, did she play the uh, main uh, love interest character for Colin? Because like I said, I know that she considers him her husband, which like I said, is just kind of a. Uh, Okay, let's see here. If I tell her, yep, that was her. Oh, and she also played the Desire Demon. <laughs> oh, insert your own commentary. <laughs> oh, my mind has gone so dirty. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I I'm good. I'm good. Mm, I'm professional. I'm adult. I'm gonna be 28 this weekend. I can be mature about this.
and then be totally immature when I get the chance later. <laughs> but okay, more critical story. I mean, yeah, it wasn't too good. On, on critical note, I think your narration needs a little work, Casey. Like, it's some fun, it's like it's too loud. It's not necessarily unbearable, but I kind of had to really turn the volume down just to uh, listen to this story. But it wasn't unbearable. Just need some work. And maybe I'll work on that with you later. Although, your real... Uh, the real highlight was actually you playing your Nirvana, so you could insert yourself into a Colin Romance story that's not porn. <laughs> but uh, honestly, that was probably where you shined the best, more when you were playing a character rather than when you were narrating the story. And like I said, is this a fan fiction or a comic reading? It was kind of hard to tell. I mean, not a deal breaker, just kind of a little inconsistent. But yeah, I also really like Colin as well. He was played by... Baby ate my D. Nope, nope, nope. My mind's already fighting the dirtiness too much already as it is. Okay, I'm not really sure how much longer I'm going to last. But yeah, the story itself was actually pretty good. I mean, once you get past the whole uh, suggestive nature, it's... You know, like I said, from what I gathered and from what she's told me so far, a lot of Dragon Age appeal is how its characters deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. Which is something you honestly don't see that much in fantasy because, like... It's war and such, and you think they'd be desensitized by violence, but yeah, from what little I know and got, it seemed to have portrayed that pretty well. It's, they're just two characters struggling to deal with their demons and sleep with themselves. And like I said, don't get the lore a lot. I'll try to link a history explaining video down below to make more sense, but uh, okay, my voice is starting to go out, but um, yeah. Honestly, not too bad. Just need to work work on your narration, KC. But otherwise, I thought the rest of it was pretty good. And like I said, once you're done here, be sure to go check out hers. And if you're only going to comment on one video, please comment and like the original video, not mine. That would mean a whole lot more to me than if you left a comment on this video. But uh, yeah, in any case, I hope you all like this and this reaction. And uh, have a good day. And uh, happy Mermaid. Which, uh, yeah, uh, that doesn't have to do with this, but... Um, yeah, I'm just going to stop before I start sounding like an idiot. <laughs> okay, she's going to kill me and I don't care.